Auntie brings a young woman Idris into the hovel she shares with Uncle. Auntie explains that nephew, Anud, will drain her body to make room for the soul of a Time Lord. The process begins. There's a knock on the door of the TARDIS. The Doctor has got mail. A Time Lord psychic container with the mark of the Corsair. The Doctor sets up a course to find him, burning up rooms for enough power to leave the universe. They land on the and the lights go out, the soul of the TARDIS has vanished. The Doctor, Amy and Rory emerge into a scrapyard of crashed spaceships. Idris runs, runs up, calls him her thief, and kisses him. Uncle and Auntie arrive and say that she is Dulali. In answer to a question Rory has yet to ask, Idris tells him that Petrichor means the smell of dust after rain. The Doctor uses Nephew's communicator to pick up signal from the Corsair. But Auntie claims they are just four of them, and the house, which is what they call the world. Idris is locked in a cage and calls for her thief, while Uncle and Auntie lead the Doctor and his friends into their hovel. House welcomes them and explains that it has repaired many travellers that have come through the rift. The Doctor sends Amy to fetch his sonic screwdriver from the TARDIS. Rory follows her into the TARDIS, which the Doctor locks using his sonic screwdriver. The Doctor opens a cupboard to find a collection of Time Lord distress signals. House has been learning Time Lords here and using them to rip out Uncle and Auntie. The Doctor goes to see Idris who tells him that she is the TARDIS. He releases her from the cage and with her prompting realises that House removed the TARDIS consciousness in order to eat the TARDIS. He calls Amy to warn her but it's too late as the TARDIS is possessed by a house and dematerialises. Uncle and auntie expire. Idris is also dying. Rory realises why house hasn't just killed them. It wants to be entertained by their suffering. The doctor and Idris return to the junkyard to build a work in, work in TARDIS out of the wrecks. Idris takes the opportunity to point out that her doors should be pulled while the doctor points out that she has never been very reliable. But I always took you where you needed to go, she replies. In the corridors of the TARDIS, Amy and Rory become separated. Then Amy sees Rory as a savage, embittered old man. It just provides the energy to jump, start the cobble together TARDIS and uses its telepathic circuits to talk to Rory, telling him to go to the old control room. When Amy and Rory reach a locked door, Idris informs that the password is Petrichor. Amy thinks of the smell of dust after rain and the door opens, leading them to the old control room. Rory lowers the TARDIS shield and the Doctor and Idris materialise, but House is still in control. The Doctor tells House that it will only be able to return through the rift by deleting 30% of the rooms. It attempts to delete the old control room and the Doctor, Amy and Rory and Idris are deposit deposited back into the new control room. It just starts to glow as the TARDIS consciences returns to its home. Overwhelming house. Idris tells the Doctor, I love you, and fades away. Later, the Doctor is alone at the controls of the TARDIS, a boy in his box, off to see the universe.